today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make elemental dogs. These things are slightly overpowered. Hell, bestie! I just got your call, we got some new experiments. Okay, let's check this chest. We have a book called The Perfect Dog. Jack, you made it. It took you long enough. Well, Bessie, I was literally eating cookies. Anyway, I need help testing my new experiment. That's, well, experimental. Go behind the house to see what I've been working on. Love, Bessie. This better be good, Bessie. I left 12 cookies on the table. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, I will be eating those later. Uh, okay, so we got something back here. We have an entire pen filled with wild dogs. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have this pressure plate here, and if Bessie's experiment works, these will turn into the perfect dogs. Now, the only way for this to activate is through the power of the like button. Uh, you see this like button right here? I need you to smash it with your head in. Three, two, one, headbutt! All right, that, yeah, I, where am I? What's, uh, Minecraft, right? Okay, cool. Well, let's see if it worked in three, two, one. Cookie Run Kingdom is back, sponsoring today's video. Cookie Run Kingdom is an amazing mobile game that I play pretty much all the time. It features so many different cookie characters that you have to use in order to defeat the evil cake monsters. I might be slightly addicted to this game, and it's definitely because there are so many cookies. You can mix and match these different cookie warriors in your party in order to battle the cake monsters. And the best part is, each cookie has its own unique abilities. There's the epic espresso cookie that can basically wipe out an entire enemy wave by itself. The latte cookie can summon a vortex which sucks in all of the cake monsters. The dark cacao cookie definitely is one of my personal favorites. It has the sickest looking black armor and also super silky awesome hair. I'm kind of jealous. But then there's also my personal favorite, the pure vanilla cookie. It can basically heal your entire party in an instant. I try to use all of these cookies together because they absolutely destroy any cake monsters that come across their path. I've been playing a lot of the single player RPG, which has such an amazing storyline. Your objective as King of Cookies is to take back the ruined kingdom. You're able to build, decorate, and expand your kingdom however you want. There's over 200 levels to battle through, so it'll be a little while until you run out of cake monsters to battle with your amazing cookies. After each battle, you can use the gotcha function in order to add new cookies to your party. At this point, I've been playing the game for a few weeks, and uh, yeah, I, I, I might have a problem. I highly recommend you guys try it out for yourself. I'm going to leave a download link at the top of the description so you can download it for yourself. It's available on iOS and Android, so basically anybody can play. After you guys download it and play for a little bit, be sure to come back to this video and comment your favorite cookie hero. And thanks again to my friends over at Cookie Run Kingdom for sponsoring today's episode. Uh, let's get back to it. No. Did it work? Whoa! Oh, okay. Uh, the wolves look the same, but this is pretty cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> the, the beacon's all deactivated. Are you guys super puppies now? So back here in Bessie's chest, she has a lot of different blocks, and supposedly I need to feed these to the wolves. Let's try out the first one. Okay, so this is one of the super dogs, or at least I think it is. Let's test it out in three, two, one. Wait, wait. Wait, what just happened? Wait, it just changed colors, no way! Wait, this is sick. We have, well, I guess this is a water elemental wolf. It has a lot of different water effects. Okay, so, uh, yeah, yeah, we we, we have a bunch more wolves. I, I don't want them to all, to, uh, it, it, uh, they, they can't escape, bro. We need to we need to give them all different elemental powers. There's a lot happening, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we're, we're gonna try to tame this. Do you like normal bones? I think it does, yeah. Oh, we just tamed it, let's go! Follow me, wolf. Come this way, puppy. Let's see if it is actually super powered. We're gonna punch this sheep. What? Yo, wait, where'd that sheep go? The wolf just turned the surrounding area into water and drowned the the, the sheep. Just, wait, uh, let's try again. Water sheep. Does it work? Ooh, that is just extremely overpowered. What? All right, well, let's go see if we have any challenges from Bessie. I am going to nickname you Splish Splash. Splish Splash, do not get spit on too, too hard by the llama. Is this working? Oh, he just spat me. Yo, yo. <laughs> so it doesn't just work on sheep. It works on everything. Don't worry, Splish Splash. I will not get on your bad side. I have to test out the other ones. Okay, so next up, we can give a wild dog a fire charge. Here you go, little puppy. One, two. How many do you need to eat? Buddy. Okay, what about, what about you? Do you want to become fire? No, you don't. Okay. I know you want to become fire dog. One, two. Is that it? Yes! It worked! Uh, dude, you just, you, you know, pooped out fire? You, okay, he's just, he's, he's pooping. You gotta stop. Why you, 
You gotta stop poop just for like three seconds. Just stop pooping. Or just eat. Just uh, eat. I think he farted and then he pooped again. All right. Well, we have officially created a fire dog. This is cool. Okay, I want to tame you. It just took one bone. So it seems like the bones work the exact same way as vanilla Minecraft, but when you supercharge them, they get stronger and gain new abilities. Our objective today. Whoa chill. Our objective today is going to be to beat all of Bessie's challenges in these chests. What? 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 No. No, no, no. No, no. Uh, what just happened? I'm not even blinded. Did I accidentally fall into the water that my water dog created? Splish Splash, come on! And everything is now on fire. No, wait, wait, dude, dude, what, what's happening to our dogs? Oh, uh, crap, 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 not good, not good, not good, not good. What, 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 what are you guys doing? Oh my gosh, Splish Splash is getting burned by the, wait, how are you even getting burned? You're made out of water. I'm so confused. Wait, can, can you just, uh, guys, follow me, follow me. Okay, the fire dog is slightly deadly. Oh, he's chasing the ghost. He's actually burning the ghost. Go, fire doggy. Go, burn the ghost. Burn the ghost. Ghost bust him. Do it. Yes. <laughs> he actually beat him. Next up, we're going to try to make an earth elemental wolf by throwing out grass blocks. I'm so confused right now. How did Bessie do this? We can also use a glowstone dust to make, I guess, a light wolf? I'm not entirely sure what element this will turn into, but let's test it out. So we need to just throw two. Was that lightning? Did we just create a lightning wolf? Bro, this is sick. I need, I actually, I'm just gonna create all of the wolves. Oh, wait, I forgot. I, I still need to tame them. Okay, so you need to eat the bones. Eat the bone, eat the bone. Yes, yeah, okay, okay. We got the earth wolf. All right, the wolves decided to eat me. Okay, here's the lightning wolf. Let's make sure that we uh, tame it. Yes, okay, so we have a lightning wolf and we now have an earth wolf. Bessie, I'm not entirely sure why you created a fire wolf. Um, the entire area is getting set to flames. Maybe there's a wolf that can counteract it. We have feathers, ice, dye, and black dye. After we create all these wolves, I want you guys to comment down below your favorite. Okay, here we go. We have another wolf. Will you take feathers? Do you not want... Oh, wait, it worked. What is this? Um, is this an ice wolf? No, no, wait, it can't be. I, I, ha I have ice blocks. This must be a super speedy wolf. It has speed and feather falling, and now it is on fire. And now I'm on fire. Hey, hey, chill. Sit. Stay. Let's try to make an ice wolf. There you go, little buddy. Yes, it worked. I'm still so confused how Bessie was able to do this, but I don't care anymore. I want to see all of them fight. Not each other. I want them to fight like giant bosses. Okay, so we tamed the ice wolf. We have the earth wolf, lightning, the air wolf. There's only two more elements that we need. Uh, and perfect, there are two wolves in here. Okay, you take the two white die. I think that worked. It looks very, very similar to the feather wolf. And then we have two black die. Eat it. Eat it. Yo, what? Wait a second. Let, uh, uh. What did this just turn into? It's made out of void essence, it looks like. That is sick. Wolf army, assemble! First challenge, we have Blaze. Where? I just got teleported to the void. The Blaze is dead, though, so there is definitely some good things that can happen with all of these elemental wolves. Let's see what our earth wolf can do. We have a little cave spider right here. Okay, all right, chill. chill. Why, why do I die? I've decided to become Beck Bro Fish Boy. I wonder if our elemental wolves will fight creepers. Normally wolves won't, but let's see. No, no, it was just, yeah, it was terrified. I'm still not entirely sure what the earth wolf does. We have a hoglin. Um, I'm starting to think this wolf might cause earthquakes. Let's try an evoker. Oh my gosh. Dude, you gotta chill. You just one hit KOing these mobs. Let's test out the feather wolf. Let's see what it does against, uh, oh my, bro, this dude just karate chopped me, what? What's happening? I was not ready for that at all. Okay, it's going back for some more karate chaps. I'm not even, I'm not worried. No, actually, I'm getting a little bit worried. My, my wolf is not doing any cool elemental abilities. That's fine, though. It killed it with sheer passion and power. That's a good little puppy. Here you go. Ask yourself some cooked pork chops. Next up, we have Sparky, aka the Lightning Wolf. Let's see what Sparky does against this guy. It's an undead creature. Whoa. Sparky does not play around, ladies and gentlemen. Sparky, I want you to do the same exact thing to this undead ragdoll. Please kill it. Please kill it. Please kill, please kill it. So the only thing you need to be worried about when you spawn in these elemental wolves is the fact that they can accidentally damage you. I completely forgot to mention, if you guys do want to try this out for yourself, there will be a download linked in the description below. While you're down there, you gotta hit that subscribe button if it's red. Next up, we have the air wolf. Let's see how it does against an undead beast. Whoa. Oh, this is really, really sick. So it literally just 
every time it gets close, it just farts everywhere and it sends it to the moon. <laughs> Yo, okay, so it's definitely not the strongest wolf, but it is the most effective. Uh, the creature that it's fighting doesn't even get a chance to attack. Look, it's literally flying the entire time. And then it takes fall damage. Break your legs. There goes your kneecaps. You're dead. Let's try to combine it with the ice wolf. Oh, it's going in. Oh my gosh, bro, wait a second. The ice wolf is trying to enclose it in ice blocks. Whoa, okay, that is actually really cool. Let's try this against a dread scuttler. Okay, that's that's just nightmares. The ice wolf. Dude, yes, it worked. It worked. It actually got it caught. And when it's caught in the ice blocks, it can't do any damage. It can't move and it just takes damage. Yo, you actually, th this thing, this thing might be the most powerful wolf. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we are left with the void wolf. I have no idea what this is, but the way that it walks around is insanely quick. And the particle effects make me believe that this thing is going to send anything it touches to the void. Let's test it out in three, two, one. Okay, attack. Go ahead. Um, I think I was right. Let's try it out against this Dread Lich. This is normally pretty powerful. It's gone. It's gone. They get sent directly to the Void. That is overpowered. Wait, I got sent to the Void, though. So that's what happens when the Void uh, dog touches anything. Don't, don't, stop. Stay, 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 stay back. You're kind of scary. I take that back. Please help me. There's a ghost. There's a ghost. Okay, they killed the ghost. Wolf army, let's do this. We have a mutant spider pig. Why? Why do I get sent to the void? Bessie needs to make a few alterations, but if she can do that, this will literally be the most overpowered wolf pack ever. Let's try out a mutant golem. Okay, so I want them to attack me first because if I attack, I, I'm gonna, I know I'm going, oh. Wait a second, I didn't go to the void that time. The earth wolf is also able to manipulate dirt and stone blocks. Okay, let's try out Baracko des Chief. Baracko, do your worst. Do it, Biggie. Oh, crap. Okay, wolves, wolves. Yes, wolves, yes. Dude, they need to attack, they're not attacking. Yes, there they go. Oh, <laughs> she just got picked up. Some of the wolves are taking a lot of damage, especially because the entire area is on fire. The fire wolf. This literally killing our entire wolf pack. Bro, okay, okay. I don't even know what to do with the fire wolf because if it sits down, not nah, all right, I'm I'm flipping dead, dude. The void wolf is moving in. The void wolf keeps it keeps getting on fire though. No, dude, he doesn't know what to do when it's on fire. I need to make sure I'm feeding them. Uh hello. hello. Did I what what is how did I what is happening? Wait a second! The water wolf is drowning and Splish Splash is doing it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Let's go, Splish Splash. That's right. You just got defeated by a dog named Splish Splash. How do you feel? Oh, wolf pack. Meet my big friend. I'm going to stay back here where it's safe. Wait a second. It looks like our void dog. Oh, oh I, I think I might be frozen. I think our void dog might be sitting. What is it doing? What is it doing? It's not helping. Oh, wait a second. There we go. It just moved. Okay, wolves, now is when you probably should start attacking. Wait a second. I think the void wolf just sent Frostball down into the void. There's really no way to know for sure. It looks like they're all surrounding here. So either the water dog is burying it, Splish Splash is doing amazing work, or the void dog just sent it to its death. I also maybe added a few more dogs to the squad just for educational purposes. Totally not. Just make my army extremely overpowered. Why does this keep happening to me? Um, I think it also happened to the mutant zombie because it is nowhere to be seen. All right, we're gonna try it again. We're gonna go mutant enderman. Please don't hit me. Why are you looking so sus, man? Okay, I'm gonna hide behind this. No way he sees me. Three, two, one, boop. I, oh, what? They killed him in one single hit. Look at him. He's dying. What did I... Huh? What happened here? This might be the most impressive army of wolves I've ever seen. And I've had a lot of different armies of wolves, ladies and gentlemen. This is the final challenge, though. We have a cyclops in three, two, one. Duh, run, 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 run. Oh, no. Wait, he bit him. Oh my goodness. Dude, as soon as he bit the, the first elemental wolf, they all just pounced on him. That was the most beautiful thing ever. You guys are amazing. What are, you, are you guys still trying to eat him? He, I think he's he's probably gone. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you create elemental wolves. If you want to check it out for yourself, it'll be linked down below in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Beck Bro Wolf Chief Master of Awesomeness Jack, and I'll, I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, peace out, dude. Yeah. <laughs>